Hello everyone, I'm Ryan and in this short video I'm going to show you how you can take something like this and change it to something like this. If you look at what I've done here, I've changed the spacing between characters, both the horizontal and the vertical. Uh, the spacing between characters is called the kerning and that's exactly what we're going to do here. Just for the sake of uh, reference, I've drawn two guidelines on this Inkscape document one pixel apart so you see it's 154 this is supposed to be 155 and this is 156 uh, this I've done this to give you an idea of how much kerning how sensitive it, the kerning is so let's say uh, let's double click on this to activate the text tool and then press the alt key and press the left arrow key and you see that the entire text that was to the right of the alphabet K slightly move to its left. So let's do that again a couple of times. I'm going to press the Alt key, I'm going to press the left arrow key and I continuously press the left arrow key and you see the whole text moved to its left. If I, if I press the Alt key and press the right arrow key this time, the whole text moved to its right. Uh, the same effect can be had if you, with the up and down arrow key. So if you press the Alt key, press the up arrow key, text moves upwards. Now let's leave the Alt key, shift to the next character press the alt key again and press the down arrow key and you see by simply repeating the steps of uh, the sequence of steps i can create a very simple effect of characters that are you know unevenly placed although this is not readable it still gives you an idea of what you can do using this simple technique of uh, changing the characters changing the kerning of characters uh, it is quite different from pressing the space bar. For example, if you sp press the space bar, you're going to get a lot of space. And the guidelines were to show you that the kerning is really, really sensitive. Uh, I think that's it. And I hope you find this useful and get a chance to use it in any of your projects. Thank you.